Alright my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a shop my stash. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Alright, so this is my very first shop my stash and I did the best that I could. I'm sure whatever I do incorrectly, you all will let me know. These are the products that I picked. I just went through my collection and decided on what makeup I wanted to wear. And I'm gonna go through it with you all, talk a little bit about the things that I like, some things that I don't, and let the chips fall where they may. All right, so here I am. This is my very first shop, my stash. And I guess first I need to decide on, you know, what type of look that I want to do. I'm just gonna pick some products and the products that I pick, gonna do a look and then post it on IG. So I have all of my uh, foundations here. Because of the positioning, um, you can't really see, the, um, you see most of them, but some of them you really can't see. But um, with that being said, I want to get something that really looks good on the skin and something that really takes pictures well. Am I saying that correctly? Or when you wear it, it really looks good in pictures. And the first thing that comes to mind is this Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I have it in the shade Mocha. And this foundation looks so gorgeous in pictures. And I have a couple posted on my IG. And I have to say that the pictures where I use this foundation, I get the most compliments. I'm actually surprised because I don't necessarily gravitate towards Too Faced complexion products, but this one is so pretty and I really do like it. So it's either out of this one or the Givenchy Tint Couture City Balm. This is another one that looks so good on the skin. Now, as far as, you know, having a lot of coverage, this isn't it. I would say that it's like light, to maybe maybe could be want to be medium <laughs> coverage but this is another one that i absolutely love i don't think that it's too popular either um it doesn't have the best of ingredients in it meaning you know i just don't see a lot of where they've attempted to offer that but i really do like it so right now it's gonna be out of these two and i think i'm gonna go with the Givenchy for the foundation and i have it in the shade c345 all right so now we're on to powders and i've got a few of my powders here so we're gonna go with what's going on over here and i know for a fact i want to try to find something um that is not going to make me look overly cakey, something that's really light and finely milled. Um, I do like the powder by Beauty Blender. This is their Bounce uh, Powder in Nutmeg. And this one has like little sparkly sparkles in it. It really reminds me of that new Jaclyn Hill powder. I have it here, let's see up here this is it right here this one reminds me so much of this one the only thing is the beauty blender powder doesn't have as much um, sparkle to it this one looks really really pretty especially if you want that um, soft focus type of look and if you wear it out in the daytime and the Sun hits you you will see just a little sparkle not that much just a little but this one is really pretty and another thing that I really like about this one is that it doesn't irritate my allergies so definitely gonna go with this one I think this one might even be on sale at Sephora right now but yeah I'm gonna definitely go with this one all right so I'm moving on to brows I've used all of these and I've got some thoughts about all of them I feel as though you know I kind of have a good range between affordable high-end and luxury but definitely more affordable <laughs> so yeah the first one that stands out is is this um, brow pencil by Gucci and this one came with a sharpener I think it's back there I don't know if y'all can see it but it's back there so on one side you get your pencil okay and then on the other side you get a spoolie 
Now, I do like this one, uh, but the interesting thing about this particular pencil is that um, it's like a powder, even though it's a pencil. It's really weird. Um, I like it and I like using it on days when I need something quick and light, nothing too heavy. It definitely does the job for me in that regard. Another one that I like is this Gimme Brow by Benefit in shade five. I really like this one. I don't like the price and I probably won't repurchase it, but I think it works really well. Um, another one that I wanted to show you all um, is this one, uh, Arches and Halos, the Professional Brow Fine Bristle Tip Brow Shaping Pen. You can get these at Target. These are really, I like these. I think they work, work really well. The only thing is um, a lot of product comes out all at once. So um, if you're a person that really likes that in your brow pen, in your brow pens, um, I would say to check it out. Anytime that I know that I'm going to use it, I will set it like upside down so the ink can drain down so the tip won't have as much product in it and then when i do that i find that it works really well um, but you can get these at target and i think they're relatively new at target i think they're like a couple of years old so um but for the sake of this video i'm going to use this brow contour pro now some people don't like these um and evidently it must be a lot of people because these were on sale at marshall's they might still be on sale at marshall's and i picked me up a few but i like the fact of how it has the the light part and then it just kind of gradually goes darker so you can just kind of pick what you like but these are the brow contour pros by benefit so yeah i think i'm gonna use that for my yeah. brows all right so next up are blushes now i just recently kind of want to be a blush person up until recently so i have these and i have some more in some little containers at the bottom i'll show them to you in a second but i'm going to pick a blush from this little section and i already know what i want um i do like cream products um this is the milk makeup cream blush this is a lip and stick blush these are nice um not the most pigmented in the world especially for the price but it's nice this melt blush in honey thief this one is nice i wish i when i bought it i uh, picked up a darker shade this is really nice but my favorite on the list is this rare beauty blush and i have it in the shade nearly berry um, let me open this and here is the shade right here oh my goodness this shade is so so pretty and the way that I apply it I use a stippling brush and I just apply it like that and then I blend it out I find it to be very pigmented I've seen or heard of some people saying that it's not pigmented um not when if you take a stippling brush you know put it in there and then apply it you can apply it over powder. Um, it plays very well with other makeup. If you've watched any of my Get Ready With Me's, you know, I frequently talk about products that don't play well together. This one is a really good girl. She plays really well with others and I'm gonna use this. All right, so now let's talk concealers and I have some here. Some I like way better than others. Um, I'll just go ahead and start here. So. Here I have some that, um, like for instance, this Kosas concealer. I think this is excellent if you have mature skin. Uh, it's very um, creamy and it's very blendable. It looks really good if you have, like I said, mature skin. I like this one. It's got some good ingredients in it. Um, at the same time, on the opposite end of the spectrum is this Juvia's Place. Um, concealer. I like using this one when I want something um, that is full coverage, but trust and believe if I do use this under my eyes, I need to make sure my under eyes are very well prepped with, you know, good skincare and an eye cream because if not, 
my under eyes will look extremely dry and I'll look like the Crypt Keeper. All right, and in this one, I do like the Clinique Even Better Concealer. Um, let me tell you what I hate about this product. Look at this. What is that right there? I wish companies would stop putting these little sponge things that you can't clean. And I, I just don't like that. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Outside of that, I like this concealer. I like the ingredients. I feel as though this is another one that's good for mature skin. It doesn't have the best of coverage. But, you know, if you're one who likes to wear light makeup and you don't want anything heavy under your eyes, I would definitely uh, try this one. So um, I'm thinking either that one or let's see. Oh, this one right here, the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This one is a self-setting concealer. And let me just tell you, it is self-setting, okay? But if you all are familiar with any of my Get Ready With Me's, you all see how much um, <laughs> concealer that I will put on. If you put on that much, no, it's not. But if you put on like little, little uh, uh, let's say three small dots, maybe four small dots. Yes, it will self-set. So if you have dry under eyes, dry mature under eyes, this one would be really good. So um, does it look good on camera when you're wearing it and things like that? Yes. Okay. And especially if you're trying to get uh, that natural look, I would say so. Um, let me see what else is going on in here. Um, oh, this one right here um, by Alme is a really good one. This is, oops, okay. This one is by Alme and this is the Skin per Perfecting Comfort Concealer. This is a nice one for, uh, that's from the drugstore and this is a good one if you want a natural look, not um, just a full heavy beat type of look that one would be really good but but this look i think i'm going to just use my clinique i'm going to use this one right here all right so now let's get into eyeliners and i have a, a couple of loose pigments right here i also have some more in a couple of other locations but I'm going to talk about the ones that I have here. Here is my little modest collection of eyeliners. And, you know, I'm a creature of habit and I really like matte eyeliners. The Sephora eyeliner is matte, dries really fast, great price. Um, this, what is this? This is the mega slim skinny tip eyeliner by wet n wild it's really good and you know what i don't like is this cat bundy tattoo liner i probably need to give it another shot but i just feel as though not enough product comes out and i've never been able to get um enough product out no matter what size i get um, you know how when you go to Sephora and they give you like thousands and thousands of samples? Well, they used to. Um, but anyway, uh, there's also the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is a nice one. You know, NYX has some really nice products in my opinion. This one is nice and it also dries matte. Uh, you know, this one isn't an eyeliner, but I like to use this to brighten up my waterline. And this is the... Uh, this is a Rimmel retractable pencil, and it's really nice. I like this color. This is in nude. Uh, but for the sake of this video, look how beat up this is. I'm going to use the, the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. And here are some more brow product, products that I have. I also have uh, some paint pots in here. I have a Boeing Concealer and some eye primers right there and right here i just got some lip products all of my stuff is kind of like bunched in together as you can see so i'm going to lower the camera some more so we can look at bronzers all right so here are 
my other bronzers. Um, this one right here by La Mer, I really like this one. I like the fact that you get three different shades and I actually use the lightest shade sometimes to set my under eye and I've never had a problem with it. You can kind of see how it's uh, there's a little bit of a dent in it, how much I love it. I got this when everybody got it in their boxy charm, I think last year or the year before last, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I think I'm gonna use this bronzer. All right, so now let's get into setting sprays. I have a few, as you can see, uh, just not a whole lot, but I know for a fact, I want to go for something with some shimmer in it or some, some type of stuff that's gonna make me glow a lot. <laughs> so immediately what comes to mind is this LA Girl Shimmer Spray. Can you all see the little uh, gold sparkles in it? Looks super pretty on the skin, as well as this MAC Fix Plus. This is so pretty. Can you all see the little go little sparkle sparkle things going around in it looks gorgeous you talk about glow man that is the business or another one that gives that type of look is this physician's formula 24 karat gold collagen setting spray if you look at it closely it too has the little gold things in it the only thing that i hate about this is the sprayer it is the worst ever i think well this is the worst ever in my collection and the best ever as far as sprayers is concerned is this this maracuja tart what is this maracuja miracle mist oh that is so divine so so divine so um i'm gonna go with this one the mac uh fix plus because it is so, so, so very pretty. So for lips, um, I'm going to pick from my Melt uh, Cosmetics lip glosses. First of all, if you're familiar with my channel, you know or are familiar with my looks. Most uh, colors that I gravitate to are of nude appearances. So... Um, this one comes to mind and you know, I don't even know if they still sell these, but these are so heavily pigmented. This one is in 1942. Let me just show you all the, how this looks, how pretty that is. Can you see that? So it would either be out of this one or, oh, that one's a little bit too red. Um, Let's see, it's probably going to have to go with the one that I just showed you. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one because it's probably the nudest out of all of them. Okay, and just for, you know, demonstration purposes, have you all seen the Beetlejuice, the little Beetlejuice lip gloss? I don't think that they sell this anymore. Look at how pretty, this, I got to swatch this for you all. Look at how pretty that is you see that Woo! that is so 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 pretty um yeah i need to get some more of their lip products and things like that but i'm gonna go with this shade definitely for this look all right so now we're going to look at eyeshadow palettes and you all know i have quite a few but i'm just going to pick from this shelf and I'm going to just pick from my Natasha Denona collection and that collection would be right about here. All right, so I've scooted on down at a better positioning for myself. And so here are my indie palettes or Natasha Denona palettes. I have a few more, I think I'm missing a couple that are on the other side over there, but um, now that I'm down here, I see that I have these two palettes. Um, this one is the Charlotte Tilbury palette, and I actually really do like this one. Looks like this, and the formula is so easy to use, and I think that all of these shades are brown girl friendly. I really like it, especially this uh, burgundy type of shade. It's really pretty, and of course, the metallics are awesome. 
As far as the packaging goes, um, it does look pretty, but when you feel it in your hand, it feels cheap as all get out, uh, which is really sad considering uh, how much the palette is. And then there is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. Uh, right now, these types of shades are really my jam. Look at this. You can get such beautiful, everyday, natural, pretty looks with this. And I like how it matches a metallic up with each matte, which means it's going to be easy to use. So it's no confusion going on. You just put the matte um, like in your crease or whatever, or you could put it on your inner eye, um, uh, your lower lash line, however, and then just add your metallic, however you want to add it. And I think it's just a very uh, user-friendly palette. Plus, it's awesome for every day. I think that this was included in the Ulta sale. I, I want to say that it was included. Um, one palette that I might um, use is this what is this this is the celestial storm palette uh these palettes i think these palettes are still on sale at sephora for like 20 22 dollars plus like if you have points you can get them for even cheaper than that i got these for like i don't know money off because i didn't want to pay the original price for these i'm a little funny uh with how i spend my money but anyway I like this color story. It's really pretty. I really do like palettes that have a matte uh, and a metallic that's in the, the same color story or color family. So, you know, you have matte uh, burgundy and then you have the metallic or the specialty shade or whatever she calls it to match. Um, I think that when you have palettes like that, it just makes uh, the palette a little bit more easy to use um, so this one's really pretty and I think that I'm gonna use this palette I like this one all right so now we're on to lashes my favorite part so here are my little lashes and for this look I think I want to let's see go into something that's a little bit more natural at least for me and Let's see, I'm thinking these are, on the natural side, these are 3D Volume Lashes. Uh, these are from the Beauty Supply Store. I think these are like a couple of dollars. And honestly, guys, they look big, but they're really not. Uh, however, if I was actually going out, I would probably uh, pick something from um, Velour Lashes. Um... I would pick something like this. As you can see, I've already worn these. These are so pretty and fluttery on. Um, if you are, uh, let's see, if you don't wear a lot of eye makeup and you want to kind of keep your, your look simple, you could always go in with a lash like this and just kind of make it all come together. This is in uh, SheEO. I'm not even sure if they still sell that style, but Lily Lashes also has some that are similar and these are in Doa. Let's see, how do you open this? Here they are. These are really pretty, super um, feminine, fluttery. You could just put you on just your complexion products like uh, your foundation, a little bit of highlight and powder and do you a lash and whatever type of lipstick color that you like to wear and look totally totally gorgeous just have to say this while i'm here but these bad boogers by Too Faced these are the worst overpriced lashes that i have ever purchased i just have to warn you all about those but as far as drugstore lashes, let me move this over. Um, what are these? Kiss Lashes has the most beautiful lashes. Look at these velvet. And again, these look super big, but in part, you know, when you actually have them on, they're not that big. As you can see, I can talk about lashes forever. 
Now, if you're into like baby lashes and you don't like a lot of fuss and you're new at it, you could just go to uh, Dollar General and get you some LA Colors Dramatic Lashes. I think these are like 50 cents or a dollar, something cheap, you know. I just save those for uh, whenever I want to stack lashes. Sometimes I'll stack my lashes to get a more dramatic effect. Um, also, these dollar lashes, they are nice. However, I feel as though they look too plasticky, even in videos and film. And I always get suckered in to wearing these as if I didn't already know. Um, about how plasticky they look but uh, that's just my opinion you could definitely let me know now i could go on the wild side and wear some of these yes y'all i have been known to wear them this big i don't do that as much anymore as i used to but but this look i think that i'm just gonna go in with the doha lashes and these are by Lily Lashes. So, so pretty. All right, so now we're into highlighters. And this little section right here are my highlighters. And I also have highlighters right here. It's kind of like, you know how you have the little section where the it's got the awkward size boxes and things like that? Yeah, well, that's what's going on there. So we're just going to stay focused in this little, this little section, <laughs> this little section here. So anyway, what do I want? Um, let's see. Well, let's start with old school, okay? Something that everybody's familiar with, these MAC highlighters. Uh, I think the one that is most popular or most old schoolish is Gold Deposit. Super, super pretty. These two are nice. This one is in Superb and this one is in Soft and Gentle. These two shades typically go a little bit better for me during the winter and of course and of course this one during the summer. I haven't used this little stick in a long time and this is the Fenty Star Struck um, highlighter. And the only reason that I haven't is because it's so dry, it's so dry. I really like the color. Um, it's probably too light for me, but I really do like it, but it's so drying. So I suspect those would be really good for somebody with oily skin. I've talked about this one before by Ink Glot, and this is their, what is this? This is their Sparkling Dust. This one is so, so pretty, and you get a little powder puff to apply it. Y'all see how pretty that is? That is marvelous, marvelous. I love it. This one right here by Hank and Henry. This one is really nice. I like it. I feel as though it would work a little bit better for me if it was a little bit, um, if it was just a little bit, just a smidge bit deeper. And you know, it's coming out as light on camera, but in person, it's gold. So it gets a little tricky when you're taking pictures, but this is in the shade Jewel Thief. That one is, this one's really pretty. And I might go with this one, but let me just pull this one and show you all. Do y'all remember this one right here? This is the collab between Machino and Sephora. This is so cute. Remember it came with the little teddy bear? So these are the two shades that came with it. And here's one shade. And it's really soft, as you can see. And then the other shade is right there. So yeah, since I'm kind of going for a softer look and since I haven't used this in like forever, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Plus it's so cute. 